Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you today how to do vertical analysis on an income statement. So I've got the years 2016 and 2017. I'm going to right click on column C and do an insert. And a vertical analysis is basically taking the 600,000 in 2016 and figuring out what percentage these other numbers are of 600,000. And if you don't like the word revenue, we can change it. There you go. So here's your formula. Equals B6 divided by B6. And most people I know will tell you you need to make this absolute reference by pressing the F4 function key. If you're a laptop person, you may need to hold down the FN key and then press the F4 function key. But you don't want to make it absolute. What you want to do is stop right there. B dollar sign six. That's called a mixed reference. Don't worry that I got the number one for one dollar. Auto fill that down. There are your numbers. I'm about to make them percentages. I would highlight this. This is this is my method. Go to the home tab. Use the format painter and drag down. So it copied the formatting including the borders and now go make it percentage. So I make it percentage last. So 100% is 600,000 divided by 600,000. 47% is 280 divided by 600. And you can see, I'm gonna get rid of that zero right there. So we ended up with net income of 23% for the year 2016. Now, because I did not use absolute reference, I can simply highlight copy. I'm going to go to cell E6 and paste. And look, look at that 47%. It is D7 divided by D dollar sign six. So a little tip from me is use mixed reference if you have multiple years. Don't use absolute reference. So this is called vertical analysis. One more way to do it, let me just save this in case I want to come back to it. I'm going to delete what I just did. You can either put it, the percentages next to the numbers, but sometimes, and I sometimes prefer this, I'm going to simply copy my data up top and then paste it down below. And now let me pull my, uh, let me shrink my screen in just a little bit. There you go. I'm in cell B20. This is going to be simply equals B6 divided by B6. And once again, I'm going to press the F4 function key. Whoops, went too far. Right there. I still got that $1. Don't worry about it. Pull it down. So this is just like before, except I'm keeping all my percentages down here. Highlight. I'm going to undo one time. My bad. Auto fill down. And then just tell it right here to fill without formatting. Now I go make it percentage. There you go. And once again, you can get rid of those. Now, one more time, just simply copy and paste. So there's there's vertical analysis on an income statement. Feel free to share that with your MBA students, your accounting students, or anyone. Department managers probably should know how to do this. Next week, I'll cover horizontal analysis. And I'm using an income statement, but you could also do this with a balance sheet. Also coming up next week, and you need to see this, I'm going to discuss the difference between a VLOOKUP versus using index and match. So I'm going to set this up with you on Monday from scratch and here's what you're going to learn. If I come over here, if you notice, I'm going to teach you how to use the rank function. So watch this. I'm going to sort A to Z. So I'm sorry, let me sort the other way. Sort largest to smallest. So China, which has 1 billion 403 million is at the top, India, USA, on and on. But let's test this. Notice it's number nine. And I'm going to change this number to 1,500 and watch A10 go to the number one. 
So I'll teach you how to use the rank function. But I'll also teach you, I'm over in cell G2. If I pick a different country, it doesn't matter what country I pick, so I'll teach you how to make this drop down arrow here. And it's pulling. Notice that my index and match function and my VLOOKUP are giving you the exact same. So next week I'm going to explain why index and match are much better than VLOOKUP. And here's just one example. If I insert a column for some reason, my VLOOKUP no longer works, but my index and match continue to work. So, but there's other reasons to use index and match just besides this one. Anyway, thank you for your time. Have a good weekend.